Hey guys. So today I'm at a new Goodwill that I have not been to. Uh, I just recently moved to this area. So we are in Carroll Stream, Illinois. And looks like a pretty big store. Um, seems nicely arranged. I was able to spot the purse section, at least I think this is the purse section, right off the bat. So, let's see what we have. Calvin Klein, colorful. <laughs> uh, felt kind of like cardboard, so not good quality. This. Steve Madden. It's not a very big purse section, so I'm kind of hoping, hoping that there's some more purses somewhere else. That's just it's kind of funny. So far, the nicest, best quality thing I've seen is a Whole Foods tote bed. <laughs> okay, there's got to be something else here that I just have not spotted. That looks vintage. Huh, interesting. Don't know. I think it's I think it's modern made to look vintage. I want seven dollars for it. It is in good shape. I'm gonna put it in my bag here in my in my cart. And let's see if we find something else something I'm a little more sure of that it can sell. We have a Liz Claiborne. This is something that's brand new. to handle a phone and look at things single-handed. Okay, so there's no maker's mark. It's pretty, but it's not leather. There's no maker's mark, so we're not going to get that. What is this? No. Everything it is, what does that say? Made in. I can't see that. Can't quite tell. It's clean, it's really dusty. I don't know. I'm gonna leave this. Let's see what else we have. Oh, 
comes is nine. It's new, but it's faux leather. It's nothing fancy. Okay, we do have an Elizabeth Arden bag. I think this is probably like a freebie. A freebie bag if you buy cosmetics or something or get a salon treatment it is brand new it's just not worth seven dollars if you want to resell it okay we have a pretty olive green bag here. Again, I'm still trying to get used to how to film this and look at stuff. We got faux shearling here. I like real shearling. Well, Bath and Body Works. I bet that's another I bet that's another Vera Bradley. It's a, no, that's a fossil. You want ten dollars for it? But it does have wear <clears throat> on the corners, so we're gonna put that back. That's too bad. So I. I lost the, uh, oh, they just had it hanging here on the corner. All right, Let's see if we have anything in the wallets. We have another Vera Bradley bag. I actually have a duffel in the same pattern at home. leave the Vera Bradley. Like I said, can't seem to sell those. We have a fossil wallet. It's got a pretty print. It has a little zippered area. I don't see a price chart. Oh, yes, three dollars. It's got a little bit of wear, but not too bad. I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna <clears throat> put it in my wallet. In my wallet, I'm gonna put it in my put it in my cart, <laughs> not my wallet. All right, let's. Oh, let's see what this is. This feels nice. No maker's mark that I can see. It's a nice shape though. But I'm going to put that back because there's no maker's mark. And it's just much more difficult. Much more difficult. Look at this, somebody put boots here. For cute boots, for little feet. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put that back. Let's see what this is. 
Be easier to reach. Here's this. Three ninety nine. Yeah. The maker. This is leather. Does anybody know anything about Tuss? <laughs> Looks new inside. Real clean. Four ninety nine. I'm gonna keep this in the cart, um, and I'm gonna stop before I leave and look it up. So let's see what this is. It's a pretty green. Seems to be leather. I like the inside. Wow, you've got credit cards. This is your wallet. No maker's mark. None that I can see. So, oh, too bad there's no makers mark, <clears throat> and I don't see a price. I'm gonna put it in my cart and think about that one because it's a nice leather wallet, and it's an unusual green color. What do we have here somebody left a purse here. No wonder. It seemed a little, a little crowded here. All right, let's take a look at this purse. It's actually a nice purse. Kind of reminding me of a coach, but it is not a coach. See what else we have here. I am thinking maybe if I hold my camera with my right hand, this might go better. Kind of matches the kind of matches the purse I just bought the other day. Look at this. That is cute. And the maker's mark that looks brand new. Oh. Uh, the closure isn't working. Okay. That is why they donated it. Okay, what about this cute little evening bag? Made in Macau. Not designer, <clears throat> but really pretty. No price tag. Put it in my cart and see see if they'll be willing to sell it to me at the counter. If I decide to take it. And we have another Vera. I actually have this pattern too at home. I want five dollars. 
I have a cross body Vera with the same pattern. That'd be nice, it would match. I'm gonna take this probably for myself. All right, we got six pairs of brand new socks. Okay, what else? That's an interesting blue. Perfect jam here. Let's see what else we have. That's cute. With a little kiss lot coin purse on the outside. That is adorable. Oh, but look at the damage. Okay, let's go on back. We have another Vera Bradley. I didn't check what the color of the week was. I'll put that in the cart. Maybe I'll get lucky with the color of the week. I am blocking traffic here. They've got all these wallets that a lot of people go by. So Dana Buckman, that's a good brand. And that appears to be leather. Nope, 100% man-made materials. Dana Buckman, that is pretty. I like that. How much? $4.99. I'm going to put that in the cart. I'm trying to get out of people's way. Um, <laughs> another Vera. Another Vera Bradley. I'm going to put that in my cart too. I say I don't buy Vera, but I don't know. I didn't check what the color of the week was. Maybe one of them will be half off. The Beatles. Huh. It is still in shrink wrap. Let me look that up. So two does. Okay, somebody put that there. Maybe they were coming back for it, but I don't know. No maker's mark. Oh, I don't want that. It's got the letter M on it, so you're limited into who can buy that. Is this Charming Charlie? Yep, yeah, Charming Charlie. Alright, let's see what's on this bottom, bottom shelf. I am sorry about my camera work. I am hoping with time it will get better. No reason why it won't. Adrian Vittadini. <laughs> it probably is. I don't know. It's cute though. No. Charming Charlie. But they fooled me. What about this? What is this? That's cute. Not for three ninety nine. What about this? What is this? No, I don't think this is anything. It does have a tab.
didn't bring my reading glasses because I'm going to put that back. Anything else here? Okay guys, I'm still looking at the glassware. I lost you there for a minute, so later when I splice together the video, I am sorry if there is a gap. I, uh, I did not even notice that I lost you. This is pretty. Now this, I like. Is this handmade? I don't know. I don't think it's handmade. It's got these lines going through the... Do you guys know anything about this? Do you know if that's handmade? It is very pretty. It is very pretty. What else do we have? Um, we have more goodies. Little figurines. Cinderella like thing. With her prince and her carriage. No maker's mark. What is this? Rocky Mountain. Goat. Condor. Golden Eagle. Big horn sheep. Norman Rockwell, 1979, Leapfrog, $2.00. There's a little bit of damage on that man's sleeve. Let's see what else we have. Let me know if you see something I should be grabbing. Chicago Blackhawks something. <laughs> Towel. That's a clock. I thought it was a trinket box, but it is a clock. Cute storage box. Got some old vintage dolls or vintage looking dolls. Don't know if they're not American Girl. I don't follow American Girl. Do they still make American Girl dolls? I don't even know. 
some sort of commemorative plate. Another Norman Rockwell plate. some carts that just got wheeled out. That's worth taking a peek. Maybe we'll see some purses. No purses there. Nothing there. We got shoes. The clapper. Remember the clapper? I guess I just always want to be able to at least get up and turn off and turn on my lights. Otherwise, I'll never get up. Alright, we have some Halloween. Just basic Halloween decoration. Um, more decoration here. Photo frames. We've got Christmas. Cities, we have a Chris Kindle Mart. It's by the Daily Center every year. And um, they open up booths. Most of them are German vendors. And they come around Thanksgiving every year. And they sell German foods and Christmas decorations and all kinds of things you can imagine uh, for the people who live in you know, the Chicago area and tourists that are, that are there. We have some Easter and some St. Patrick's Day. And Valentine's Day, with all kinds of holiday goods. Some lampshades. Okay, I'm surprised I have not seen mugs. Let's go down this row. Got travel mugs. Travel no mugs and cut cutlery. Ah, here are the mugs. Alright. That's a cute Christmas mug. It's a good size mug. I love large mugs. Starbucks ruined it for me. I used to be able to drink out of a small mug, and now I can't. I want my coffee at home to be in a big mug. <laughs> so what's this? Sisters. The buns we have are everlasting. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. have this same mug at home. This is cute. I do have one or two of those at home. I like the, um, I don't know. I just like the fancy top. 
That's pretty. I put that in the cart. Okay, have we missed anything, guys? Is there anything else we should look at? We have linens. Let's take a quick peek. They have a lot of crochet. I am more of a quilt person, like large quilts, I do like them, crafts, nothing much here, and a lot of books, and kitchen electronics. here that I want. Frames. Let's see. Laura Ashley frame. With a lot of damage. Anything here pretty special? Any treasure here? That's cute. That's nice. Someone who just had a baby. How much do they want for that? $2.99. I'll put that in my cart and just see if similar things are selling. something you would have in a coffee shop or cafe with a French flair, a boulangerie, 